Alright, so there's often a lot of confusion when it comes to buying a scope, especially if you're new to scoped rifles. So today we're going to try to break through some of that confusion. So there's different units of measurements that scopes break down into, there's different purposes for different types of scopes, and you need to know what will fit or what kind of scope will suit your use for a scoped rifle. So today that's what we're going to try to talk about and break down for you guys. So there are typically two types of units of measurements that scopes break down into. Minutes of angle and milliradians. So I have scopes that break down into quarter minute of angle clicks, eighth minute of angle clicks, and milliradians. So tenth, tenth of a milliradian clicks. So First off, we'll start off with minute of angle. Now, there are actually two types of minute of angle. There is true minute of angle and shooter minute of angle. And if you are looking to buy a scope for precision rifle shooting um, and you're looking to buy a minute of angle scope, I recommend trying to do doing your homework and making sure that the scope that you're buying is in true minute of angle. Now, when we get into the explanation of the two types of minute of angle, it may actually sound like shooter MOA is easier to deal with and easier to do the number the math in your head but it is not the most it is not the minute of type of minute of angle that is commonly used in most scopes for long range shooting and not the type of minute of angle that is used in most of the ballistic software and everything else that comes along with long range precision so I would stay away if it's me I try to stay away from shooter MOA so what is a minute of angle? One minute of angle is 1 60th of one degree. So if you have a complete circle, that breaks down into 360 degrees. One degree of those 360 breaks down into 60 minutes of angle. So 60 minutes in an hour, 1 60th of a degree is one minute of angle. At 100 yards, from so if you're shooting at a hundred yard target one minute of angle is 1.047 inches on that target at a hundred yards so a shooter minute of angle is one exactly one inch at a hundred yards so it is there is actually more just a little bit more than 60 minutes shooter minutes of angle in one degree so, like I said, typically I stay away from shooter MOA just because the way things break down, most of your software most and your hardware is going to be in true MOA. So, I have scopes that are in quarter minute clicks of quarter minute of angle clicks. So, each click, so to get to one degree, it takes 240 clicks. And I have scopes that break down into eighth minute clicks. So, obviously 480 clicks to get to one degree so like when you see me do the videos where I'm shooting the 224 Valkyrie out to a mile that took just over 120 minutes of angle so you would think that it was a lot more than just a two degree angle that I was shooting at but that's actually all it took to get out to a mile with a 224 Valkyrie which is a caliber that is typically not meant to shoot that far but and that, like I said, that doesn't sound like a lot, just two degrees, but that is when it comes to long range precision shooting, two degrees is a, a lot of angle. So the scopes that break down into quarter minute clips clicks typically have more adjustment than so elevation adjustment like this. This is not a high end scope, this is an Athlon Air or Athlon uh, Argos and it, it has total, I think they're only supposed to have 70 minutes, but when you when you actually break it down, this has 80 minutes of angle in elevation adjustment. So I can dial from top to bottom 80 full minutes of angle. So just over or over one degree. This is my typically my F-class style scope, and it is an eighth of a minute click. So much finer adjustments but because it is in much finer adjustments, there's not as much room in, in the mechanism to add elevation. So this only has a total of 50 minutes of elevation from top to bottom. So 
this is actually, like I said, an F-Class style scope, so much finer adjustments for the type of shooting that we're doing. And it doesn't, in shooting F-Class, you typically only go out to at the furthest 1,200 yards, so you don't need more than 50 minutes to of, of adjustment to get out to those types of distances, typically with most common calibers. So, milliradians. What is a milliradian? One milliradian is one milliradian is one one thousandth of a radian. And I will be honest with you, I am actually not sure what a radian is. I will look that up and put it here in the video. But one milliradian is one thousandth of a radian, whichever whatever a radian is. Um, at one hundred yards. One milliradian is 3.6 inches. So if you were shooting from this bench to a hundred, my 100 yard target and adjusted one mil, that would break down to 3.6 inches of elevation travel. So mil, uh, milliradian scopes usually break down into one tenth of a mil click. So this milliradian scopes are typically more of a tactical style scope. I don't mean to say that that is the only type of scope you will buy for tactical use because if you like minutes of angle this is a tactical style scope in minute of angle. So what is the best uses for each type of scope? So if you're planning to shoot like PRS competitions typically the guys that you see shoot PRS are shooting milliradian scopes. So if you're shooting if you're planning to shoot a F-class competition and that's your, your main purpose for your scope rifle, you're probably going to want to buy a scope that breaks down into milliradians or mills um, because that's what everybody else is going to be running and when you say, when you ask somebody, you know, before you walk up on a stage, hey, you know, what was your wind call and they tell you one and a half, you're going to want to know whether they're talking mills or minutes because if they're talking mills, that's a lot more adjustment than just one and a half minutes. So if you're so if you're doing like a tactical style of shooting, you typically want to be doing using minutes of angle or milliradians. So if you're doing a super precise precision type of shooting, you're typically gonna go with minute of angle. So if you're shooting F class style competitions, which is kind of what I like to shoot, um, you're going to want to have a minute of angle scope. Not only is that the typical type of unit of measurement that most people use, it breaks down finer. So a minute of angle, if you, even if you have just a scope that breaks down into quarter minutes of angle, the four, four clicks on that scope being one minute of angle, it will three clicks on your milliradian scope that breaks down into tenth of a mil is going to be slightly more than one minute of angle. So you get a much finer unit of measurement in minute of angle than you do mils. Um, and then when you go down as far as eighth of a minute clicks, you can really fine tune your windage and elevation adjustments. So if you're shooting, if you plan to shoot bench rest style shooting or F class style shooting, um, minute of angle is definitely going to be what you want to go with and typically if you're going to do that type of shooting a lot of the guys that shoot that type of stuff are using eighth of a minute clicks um, as well as a lot of hunters a lot of people that shoot that hunt and do longer range hunting are going to have eighth of a minute clicks because when you have an animal they only have a certain certain sized area for the kill zone you want to be as precise as you can in your adjustments so these are this is the two types of units of measurements these are the different types of scopes and these are the typical uses for those types of scopes so I hope this I hope this helped cut through some of the confusion and I'll see you guys next time I'm out